Hi everyone, and welcome to my review of F.W. Murnau's The Last Laugh from 1924. Um, so yes, here we are again, um, a silent film review here and uh, a Murnau review. Um, so yes, every film that I watch, um, you know, first time round or rewatch really, is a special event when it comes to Murnau. Um, you know, he really, of course, um, the big two films, you know, that I'd seen um, before this that I consider some of my favourite films, um, one more than, you know, one in particular, uh, Sunrise and Nosferatu, um, of course, uh, those two films for me are just absolutely stunning. We'll get to, um, you know, Sunrise, I have not reviewed that yet, um, of course, but Nosferatu I reviewed um, last year, uh, probably August, I'm guessing, um, but yes, here we are. Um, now this film, you know, the last half is part of the, the set um, behind me there um, on view. The early Murnau set, and um, it has uh, five films in there, and uh, this is one of them. Of course, uh, Blu-ray here, um, and you know, individually, uh, this is spine number 144. Um, so yes, uh, I love Master of Cinema, uh, you know, releases. Even if I don't end up, uh, you know, loving the film or even liking the film, um, it's it's kind of like Criterion, where um, you know, it's it's kind of it's a special uh, a special event really, and it's it's kind of really just good to have them, you know, in your collection uh, regardless. And uh, yes, this film, of course, um, is, is probably one of the more acclaimed, um, you know, and, and renowned, respected, uh, you know, loved Murnau films, you know, probably top five, uh, you know, pretty much overall. Um, it's got, you know, a massive acclaim and, uh, you know, it's maybe not named his best film, um, you yeah, know, but, but certainly one of them. Um, so I was very much looking forward to this and, um, you know, I've got, I've got a few um, still that I own um, that I haven't seen yet. Um, so, you know, including City Girl, which I, I just cannot wait for, um, of course. And Faust, um, you know, that's the one that, you know, I really was looking forward to, um, you know, have been for some time. time um, and I aim to watch that um, pretty soon, um, of course. And yes, rewatch um, Sunrise, um, you know, and yes, we'll get to that one. Uh, we, will, we will get to that special film. Um, but this film, um, you know, is a basic, and there will be, yes, there will be some spoilers here, um, so if you haven't seen the film, just be warned. Um, but this will be quite a short review, um, it's, it's hard to talk about this film, you know, it's, it's quite a hard one to, to kind of uh, do a long review on. Um, but yes, Emil Jannings uh, basically plays this uh, doorman, um, don't think he's named, um, you know, in the film, at a hotel, and uh, basically you see him uh, going about his life, um, you know, at first. And, then of course, um, you know, it's kind of clear that he's struggling, um, you know, with the job, uh, the physicality of the job perhaps, and, um, you know, and stuff. And then, you know, he basically gets a, a letter um, that you see, um, you know, it gets, of course, uh, the subtitles there and stuff. And yes, um, although this film is noted for not really having any intertitles, um, so that's very interesting. Um, there's only really uh, a couple of bits, uh, kind of as well, um, mainly because there's kind of an epilogue, um, you know, near the end of the film, and that kind of has um, intertitles there. But mainly this film, yeah, it's uh, it's it's not really got um, much intertitles at all. And um, but yes, you see this letter, and basically, you know, you find out that this uh, the manager uh, basically is saying, um, yeah, that this doorman is now going to be um, he's going to lose his job, and uh, you know, basically it comes about that he um, he's kind of offered, um, you know, he's given. The um, the janitor role um, in, instead of the doorman um, and yes basically that's around the 20 25 minute mark um, I, I, if I recall right and uh, the rest of the film is basically him dealing with this and um, of course struggling uh, with the the kind of uh, well the thought of losing this job that he kind of yeah kind of naturally you know he kind of um, thought he, he kind of he was proud of, um, you know, it's kind of a, a, a decent um, kind of job, if you will, um, he considers anyway, and the respect, um, the kind of um, the status that came with this, and just, yes, being proud of this, um, and then of course being demoted to that, to that role um, we, we, we mentioned, uh, you know, obviously, yes, he struggles with this, and uh, he basically loses self-respect, um, you know, he feels um, guilt, you know, and stuff in relation to the family and everything, and he basically... Yeah, it all unfolds from there, um, and uh, you know, it's just it's a very interesting film. This one, um, you know, it's, it's very very different um, to um, Sunrise. Well, all of the other films you know I've seen from her now, um, you know, which basically all of them I really like at least. Um, Tartuffe I thought was good. Um, you know, the Grand Duke's finances or the finances of the gen of the Grand Duke. Um, you know, that's the one that I wasn't. They didn't respond to too well. It was it was it was a bit under par really for me, but. 
the rest of them, you know, really um, certainly impressed me. Um, Taboo, but very, very good film. And uh, I think, um, you know, despite this being really, really acclaimed, it have been, um, I think it's around about the Taboo kind of, um, you know, that sort of status there, as in a very good film, um, but not a great film. Um, and that's just my opinion, um, you know. I was, yeah, I was naturally a bit disappointed, um, you know, in the film. Um, but, you know, I did take a lot from it. And certainly I loved, actually, the first 25 minutes um, of the film. Um, and once he kind of finds this out, shortly after that, you know, it kind of goes in different directions. And, uh, you know, he's at a wedding and then he's... he's a lot of the rest of the film is definitely, uh, it's, it's more kind of, uh, it's very fantastical. And, you know, I love fantasy films. I love fantastical feeling films. You know. I always mention uh, this on my channel, um, you know, films that feel feel like dreams. Um, you know, this is some, just my obsession, really, a lot of the time with film, you know, with cinema. Um, you know, to really, uh, you know, kind of blend this with realism um, and stuff that you can kind of connect to, um, you know, and, and just, just um, you know, I was really looking forward to this. And I think, well, silent cinema um, is really the perfect opportunity, really, I, I feel, um, you know, um, certainly to, to kind of explore, you know, fantasy and, you know, uh, to make films that appear like dreams, you know, and this one certainly has a kind of hypnotic feel and it does, you know, it really, um, it wowed me in its, uh, you know, first 25 minutes really um, at times and uh, the, the cinematography throughout the film um, is remarkable, um, really, really is, but just, I lost um, the connection to the characters perhaps, you know, the, the main character of course, um, played by Neil Jennings, um, and I just think the film went went different directions where I wasn't really feeling this narrative as much, um, and it doesn't become a bad film at all, no doubt. You know, it's it's always a very um, you know very much to a standard. You know, I, I'd say it's um, it's never less than average, um, really. It's just there is you know a flatness to the film, unfortunately, um, after this, and it slowly peters out. You know, there's definitely um, highlights after this, um, and. You know, moments of comedy and charm perhaps um, after this but it never really recovers to, to, to my actual real investment that I had um, you know and certainly the first five minutes are very low-key but you know once that you know kind of you see our main protagonist you know kind of going about his his life and stuff and there's this wonderful moment actually um, maybe that's kind of mm, it's very much um, similar to a moment in sunrise actually uh, and of course it's, it's involving the you see this uh, this location, the apartment and stuff. Um, you know, and you basically the, the lights coming through. Um, you know, and the sun rising, of course, and then everyone coming out of the buildings. Um, you know, and stuff. It's just a really uh, stunning moment, actually. You know, combined with the, the music used there. Um, and you know, really, uh, that was just a wonderful little moment there. And it's just, you know, it's constantly stunning and uh, so creative. Um, you know, and just quite genius in its cinematography. Um, it's just the my overall engagement, um, you know, I just think was was definitely, you know, it was up and down. It's certainly petering out uh, gradually, um, and then you kind of you get this weird. Um, and at first, I thought, yeah, I, I kind of I like this. I like what they're doing here. Um, what what I was doing, uh, but then uh, kind of by the end of that sequence, the epilogue um, is basically, um, as we know, um, you know, this is spoilers review, of course, but it's basically um, what would have happened, you know, and it's kind of um, the ending is basically um many regard to be just before this epilogue sequence this is uh, you know things have turned out well and you know our main protagonist you know basically inherited money and you know he's respected again and he's having a lavish uh, lifestyle uh, basically so that's the last sort of 10 minutes or so um just over 10 minutes i think um and that's kind of more of a fantasy sequence as well you know it's not i, I, I struggle to kind of um fully um you know see the I, I guess maybe it could have been a many, many, many different things, you know, kind of Murnau maybe doing a parody, um, you know, of, of just uh, happy endings, perhaps, um, or simply, um, you know, it could just be um, not to end on such a depressing note, um, you know, but that I didn't really, um, you know, in itself, that sequence, maybe I didn't really uh, love either. Um, so it was kind of maybe an unnecessary um, thing to do there, um, you know, but... Overall, I do think it's a very good film. It nears into the good mark, um, just because my investment is never quite that high um, again after the sort of, I'd, I'd probably say 30 minutes, um, to be honest, um, but you've got moments here and there. Um, but the acting from Emil Jannings, um, you know, is certainly um, quite great, actually, in this film. And uh, yes, yeah, just, 
I think some of the side characters may be not so good. Um, you know, performances there, you know, kind of um, up and down. You've got some uh, standouts, but not really. Uh, there's a lot of uh, just characters in this film that I, I kind of found, um, you know, very, very random and just I didn't quite get the, the connection there. Uh, but yes, I, I think it kind of, it's very effective at times, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, feeling sympathy for this character at first, you know, after, especially just after that initial kind of uh, reveal, you know, that he's lost his, that particular, um, you know, position there. Um, and of course it is set in it, you know, because of old age um, kind of thing. And, uh, you know, it's very, in itself, you know, that's really um, sad and it's something you can get behind, I'm sure. Um, everyone can see, you know, kind of get behind there and, and kind of feel something for, you know, I did feel sympathy, um, but then it kind of just goes off randomly and, and kind of at times and, and just, you know, I think, um, you know, while it's random and stuff, it's constantly though, it's, it's effective as a kind of, you know, a dark uh, psychological, maybe horror film at times, you know, because uh, what it's doing is really, it's definitely had an effect on me, you know, it kind of it disturbed me, it kind of shook me at times, you know, very, a lot of uh, strange moments, but a lot of the time in a good way, and, um, you know, that's to credit, but it's just my overall connection to this narrative and this character, just, it never really um, quite recovered, um, you know, to, to a point where I was really, really behind the film again, but because I loved the first half an hour overall, um, you know, I think, and, uh, you know, moments throughout, and I loved the cinematography, the editing, um, genius really um, and just um, you know it had it had a, a wonderful feeling at times just in terms of maybe not not looking in connection to the characters and the overall story but the, just the the feeling of this you know the visual splendor I think um, the sets and everything stunning although it does you know try to focus on the characters more um, I, I did kind of um, lose the connection really weirdly um, to, to the main character um, and I didn't think I would um, but yeah, it's an interesting film. It's very, it's definitely flawed, I think, um, you know, just in my opinion. And uh, I didn't overall love the film, um, but I did love the first half an hour. And, um, you know, it would have been maybe, uh, maybe a little bit higher as well if it hadn't been for the, I think, looking back on an unnecessary uh, epilogue, you know, I was kind of, I started to kind of go, oh, you know, this is actually very pleasing. But then I can kind of understand how it has been criticised, you know, um, actually, it seems uh, afterwards. Looking online, actually, I looked, um, you know, because I didn't look at um, you know anything before, you know, really going into this film other than you know I've seen it countless times on polls, um, you know, over the years. But then I saw, you know, some people were actually saying yes, you know, the epilogue is is very strange and you know it's very um, weird how that's in there and stuff. And maybe that, yeah, um, that maybe it would have been better, I think, the film if it had just kind of, although you know it's you know, it would have been depressing, but um, at least dark, um, but certainly. It didn't really, I don't think, uh, need the epilogue as well. Um, but, you know, this film, um, you know, absolutely it has greatness in the film, um, no doubt. Um, especially the cinematography, um, the editing, um, absolutely stunning. The main performance, um, you know, certainly when it's it's really, um, you know, it's, it's requiring, you know, a lot of emotion, um, it's there. You know, this is a great performance. Um, it's just... Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't consistently enthrall me, you know, in the ways that I think I thought it would, um, you know, kind of thing. Um, certainly from the first half an hour, and um, you know, just overall what I'd been hearing about the film. Uh, but yes, you know, I think overall um, a, a score of eighty percent. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a very good film. I feel um, maybe near into the good mark, um, but because just because of its technical prowess and uh, you know just the overall. I think uh, the dreamlike feeling it has at times, and uh, the, the how effective it is, and just maybe just the atmosphere alone, um, you know, it really is something at times, and um, you know, it's consistently um, visually stunning, um, you know, and it's not a film that's kind of as um, you know off into the kind of uh, at times countryside, you know, and stuff as um, you know seeing nature like Nosferatu or Sunrise at times, um, but it's a film that really captures. You know everything so perfectly. I feel, and uh, you know the the choices of lens choices, you know, and stuff, and the overall um, the, the creative ways in which you know Murnau kind of created a kind of uh, hypnotic feel. Um, the 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 dream sequences, you know, and the the overall distortion. Um, you know, this is absolutely stunning, and uh, you know it's definitely it's so creative. Um, you know, I love seeing films like this, and it's kind of it's doing something so unique. Um, but just overall, I don't think it's a great film. Uh, personally, you know, taking everything to account, you know, it certainly had me at first, um, you know, connected to this character, to this story, and um, this 
you know, maybe community as well, um, actually, and the overall the emotion of the film. But then, after half an hour mark, it did take a, a you know different turn and it went off different ways. Um, but you know, it's a very interesting film still um, after that uh, first half an hour. And um, yes, you know, I think um, I would recommend it to everyone. Of course, um, you know, I did really enjoy this film. Um, you know, I did definitely um, you know take things from it. Um, you know, but just. Slightly disappointed overall, um, but nevertheless, uh, another very good film from Murnau. Um, not one of his, uh, not you know his best film or anything, um, you know, but it's definitely uh, he's he's one of them directors I think that's just gonna you know once I've seen all of his films, um, you know maybe not even made. Uh, he's probably never made you know a bad film in that sense. But yes, you know this film, I certainly recommend it. Um, I definitely enjoyed this film. Um, you know, I, I definitely loved aspects of the film, uh, was moved at times, um, but unfortunately that was just early on mainly and uh, the rest of the film, while very effective in, in some ways, like a, a, as a kind of, uh, you know, disturbing uh, kind of horror piece at times, um, you know, and kind of atmosphere, um, you know, I think it does, you know, um, naturally kind of take a turn and, and is never as kind of investing, um, you know, just in my opinion as an overall film, in, in terms of the characters, um, you know, and just the, the overall emotional connection um, that I, you know, have to this film. And uh, yes, definitely a very interesting film and uh, one that I really enjoyed overall. Um, but yes, uh, not, not a great film in my personal opinion. Um, but, um, of course, massively look forward to, um, you know, seeing the other Murnau films and um, you know, re-watching Sunrise and, uh, well, maybe quite soon again, Nosferatu, um, you know, love that film of course and yes um it was interesting to see taboo again actually because that was the one that you know had a, had a kind of very it was a very split film um you know again kind of problematic but be interesting to see that you know knowing um now how that kind of ended um which i won't get into but yeah um you know manhouse work um overall clearly you know he's one of the at times you know an absolute genius um, and wonderful filmmaker um you know and it's just interesting to see all of his films, you know, hopefully I will see um, at least, you know, the, the surviving films, um, you know, stuff. Because there is a few, um, of course, that, that are not not available anymore, which is very unfortunate. Um, but yes, um, as always, tell me your thoughts in the comments if you've seen this film. And um, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'll be watching, of course, a lot more silent films, um, you know, more and more, of course, um, you know, on this channel, reviewing them. Basically, any any kind of um, silent feature film, at least, I'll try and review that I see. Um, you know, I just love love silent cinema. Um, you know, it's just once again, you know, and seeing this, you know, it really um, it's just every silent film I see. Really, there's there's something to take from um, because it really is just, you know, it's the essence of cinema. Um, really, um, you know, just visual storytelling. Um, you know, pure emotions and um, just. Just telling a story, yes, through visual terms and with music um, and, and just, you know, feeling, you know, this is um, overall the most important thing of cinema really to me. And uh, yes, just very interesting film this. And um, as always, thanks for watching my review.